Yeah, another Friday Night Smackdown yesterday. Another correct prediction from yours truly. Plato Wrestling. Plato Wrestling. That is right, The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he owns the title The Rock now, being a stakeholder in TKO, one of the main board members there. Uh, this guy is the absolute right choice for this match. This is a dream match. The Rock versus Roman Reigns is confirmed officially by the promotion itself, by the WWE. The Rock will be facing Roman Reigns at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia this year for WrestleMania 40. I am so excited. I, I really can't I can't even explain how excited I am because this is something that I have wanted. I have called for this. I have wanted this to happen for so long. And it's the right move, right? It's the right move from a business perspective. All of these people in the WWE Universe who are complaining, it is what it is. This is going to be the match. This is the match that's going to be able to garner the most amount of money. This is, uh, I would imagine this has always been the case. Uh, again, The Rock is not getting any younger, so they wanted to do this match. Now is the time. I did think the way in which they chose to go about handling their business was a little strange. Sure, I agree with some of the fans in that regard, with regard to Cody and his story and how that all unfolded. Uh, pretty unrealistic, him just giving up his title opportunity. The title in the WWE is the WWE Championship. We all know this, okay? WWE Undisputed Championship, right? So I think... The biggest thing that the company will be doing outside of this would be making Cody face Roman Reigns after WrestleMania. Now, hear me out. I understand a lot of people are upset with how things have unfolded. That's not to say that they can't fix any sort of gaps within the story, things that People point to and say, well, wait a second, that doesn't make much sense. Wait a second, this is lacking in this department. This is lacking in this department. Sure, because they threw storytelling out the window the way in which this all unfolded. This really made no sense, and it is such a cash grab. I'm all here for it, but it just, it, it's, they were so blatant in how they chose to go about this and how this is all for, for money. This is what it is. It's, it's for money, and... People who can't understand that, uh, they really haven't seen, uh, you know, at least the trajectory of where this company's going. This company is a public entity. It's a private, it's a, I should say, <laughs> it seems like it's a public en entity, but it's not. It's a private entity um, that really has been made public to so many people with uh, Peacock's acquisition of the premium live events as opposed to uh, some of the uh, pay-per-views that we've seen in years past. So I think Cody Rhodes, regardless of whether or not he beats Seth, I think he will face Roman again. I do. And whether that's at Madison Square Garden, whether that's somewhere else, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. But time will tell. I just would like to make this video to say, listen, you guys, this is something that I have called. This is something that I have really push for, just understand, I have my sources. I have my sources. And for anybody who doesn't know what the deal is there, dollar bills, baby. That's what it is. That's what it's been since the merger with Endeavor. So, um, and that's what it's always been. But this process has sped, uh, uh, I should say, this entire Endeavor, ha uh ha, -huh, up. And WrestleMania 40 is going to be the biggest WrestleMania in the history of WWE. Mark my words, um, they are going to be able to fill that stadium full of seats and people will gladly watch uh, a WWE legend take on the company's current star. So I'm very much looking forward to this. And I think again, yep, yeah, time will tell as to whether or not Cody Rhodes will actually get his title opportunity in the meantime. Listen, we have an amazing, amazing card for WrestleMania 40.